Painting a wall and getting a great finish isn't about grabbing any old paint, brushes and rollers. You need to use quality tools and the right technique to do the job properly. And it all starts with a little preparation. Here's a painter's tip. Before you start, you want to lubricate your brush to help it work properly. And all we do, if we're using water-based paint, we soak our brush in an inch of water for about 15 minutes. If you were using oil-based paint, you would soak it in terps. Now our brush is soaking, we need to clean the fluff off our roller. Simply run your hand up and down the roller a couple of times for a few minutes, shake out the excess water, and you're good to go. Before we roll our wall, we need to cut in around the edge of the wall with our quality brush. And I'm using a Monarch Advanced brush here. Professional painters love this brush because it picks up and releases the most amount of paint. It gives you fantastic control, never loses its shape, and doesn't leave any brush marks at all. And here's a professional little tip for you. When you're cutting in, when you've got a loaded brush, go close to the edge first rather than right against the edge and then use the quality filament of the brush to just lightly flow across the top of the wall and you get beautiful straight lines. Precision and control. Here's another choice for you. This is a walls, doors and trims brush. It's thinner but it has the same high quality filament so it's easy to handle and gives you fantastic control. There's also a choice of a brush with angled filament to help you get right into those edges. The quality of these brushes is so good that to cut a straight line, you don't even need to use masking tape. When loading your brush, just use the tip of the brush. And remember to put the paint on near the edge, not against the edge, even though there's tape there. And try and hold the brush on a 45 degree angle so that if you hit the tape, you're only just touching it, not pouring paint underneath. With a loaded roller, start in the middle of the wall and that way you can spread the paint up and down across the wall. And then before you reload, lay off which means go really lightly from the bottom of the wall to the top of the wall a couple of times to get a nice smooth even finish. To do the next section, start slightly away from where you did the first section and work back towards it overlapping with the roller. And then to lay it off, Simply have the roller half on the first section, half on the section you just did, and lay it off softly just like you did before. The value of good quality brushes and rollers is that you don't need to wash them out in between coats. Simply store them in plastic wrap and they'll be good to go next time.